Greetings and salutations, my name is Joshua Free, and I would like to welcome you to episode 4 of season 4 of Mardukite TV, sponsored exclusively by Mardukite.com. In previous episodes of this season, we have been discussing a way of exploring the Mardukite materials as they've been released by the Mardukite Truth Seeker Press. These are materials that uh, for a couple years now an organization known as the Mardukite Chamberlains has banded together to essentially explore the truth behind uh, the basis for not only human civilizations but its, its beliefs, its customs, traditions concerning uh, divinity, concerning its own origins. Uh, and the Necronomicon Anunnaki Bible uh, is essentially we reconstruct the Babylonian system. This is where things seem to change in human civilization uh, towards systems, towards uh, deification, towards fragmentation of magic, uh, things of this nature. Uh, we also discussed in another episode the companion piece to that, which is known either as Gates of the Necronomicon or Sumerian religion, both of which explore the secrets of Babylon, Babylon's origins in Sumer, and the cover-ups and conspiracies connected to the systems of Babylon, which have pretty much affected things ever since. So, moving beyond uh, strictly Mesopotamia, the evolution of these traditions as they've evolved through human culture, civilization, spanning the globe, not restricted strictly to the Middle East, uh, the Mardukite Chamberlains use what they call Liber D. Uh, it was originally known um, to the Mardukite Chamberlains specifically in addition called Druids of the Necronomicon because it goes with our Mardukite Necronomicon cycle. Uh, Druids of the Necronomicon uh, essentially uh, analyzes what was originally presented before the Mardukite Chamberlains even existed in a form known as the Book of Elven Fairy. And the Book of Elven Fairy uh, originally came out 2006 through 2008. There were various editions of it um, released on the underground and electronically. Uh, it, it continuously was evolving, um, being revised, and has finally appeared in this format. This is the first time it has actually appeared in a printed book form as the Book of Elven Fairy. And the uh, premise of it was essentially to reveal the Mesopotamian origins of specifically Druidism, but with it, it, it actually comes to define uh, what could be known as the, the Western magical tradition, uh, which is basically what is being revived in the New Age today in forms like uh, Wicca and, and Neo-Paganism and things that are um, very much based on these European methods and, and the methods from the Europeans that were based on Middle Eastern methods. Uh, all of it uh, ties together. And so, in the Book of Elven Fairy, or Druids of the Necronomicon, essentially uh, the emphasis turns a little bit more towards what happens after Babylon with the rise of uh, practical magic and folk traditions, um, which basically emerge around, uh, across mainland Europe. The later emerging traditions in human civilization, uh, as we can trace them, do indeed actually come from the Anunnaki sources in Mesopotamia, and these later cultures and interpretations are merely separated by time and geography, and it would seem the New Age movement really, uh, particularly in relation to its beliefs and the customs and traditions being revived, it's, it's yet to really give in to the, the real self-honest truth of, of its sources. Um, it, uh, for example, even the semantics involving, you know, the elven fairy and dragons and whatnot as they've been explored uh, in, in the Anunnaki perspective, uh, it's in relation to other New Age lore sometimes becomes confusing. But nonetheless, the Book of Elven Fairy, uh, now in its revised and large format in print, has actually uh, become the basis for not only several underground traditions from previous uh, versions uh, that were made available, 
but it's also the basis for many of the elven fairy videos that uh, you see on this actual YouTube channel, the uh, you know elven elven fairy tradition and the evolution of druidism and the traditions across the Danube River of mainland Europe from ancient Mesopotamia. Um, this is a printed form. Um, all of that information, which has been an integral part of the curriculum and research of the Mardukai Chamberlains. So if you'd like to get your own copy of the Book of Elven Fairy, uh, it's available at mardukai.com and from the Necrogate site.